So what is this great battle that's talking about and why this distinctly shamanic flavor of the message and why this painting with the bull, the skull, the sun, and the esoteric symbol showing up here on this date. These messages here actually led me into hours of research to understand the significance of 12-12-2023 and to really get a grip on why this date is such a powerful one. So I'm going to be sharing um, a lot of what I discovered. Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona Christine. I'm going to be sharing some downloads around the 12-12 portal. And it feels to me like this is like a super just in incredibly powerful energetic portal that we're moving into right now and um, I'm going to be sharing some Akashic downloads around it. So this piece of art is uh, inspired by that and um, we'll be looking at the numerology of the 1212, the meaning of 1212 as well as the astrology and what it all means for us right now. So, um, and also hang on to the end because I have a special invitation for you, an event that I'll be hosting on the 12-12 with a really special guest. So I'll tell you about that near the end of this video. Okay, so let's uh, just start with the Akashic message. If you're not familiar with my channel, I tune into my higher guides or the Akash in order to just get insights into uh, many of the uh, events that happen throughout the year. And this one was really unusual. Usually they'll just give me information that I like to share. But this time it was almost like they showed me this, um, this scene, okay? So here's the message. The 1212 gateway is like a thunderstorm approaching. The atmosphere is charged, creatures take cover, and the shaman comes forth, his, raises his arms in invocation, and begins to chant, calling on the thunder beings, giving thanks to the thunder beings, making offerings to the thunder beings, praying with the thunder beings, asking the thunder beings to assist. The time of the eagle is nigh. He descends from electrified sky. The time is here, the time is now. Shine, sky beings, shine. It is time to beat the drum. It is time to start the incantations. Call on the spirit of the sun. We speak for generations. Call on the spirit of the rain. Call on the rivers and the seas. Call on the wind and the air. Call on the mountains and the trees. Call on the stars and the sky. Call on the fishes in the sea. Animal brethren arise, and the flowers, and the herbs, and the bees. It is time to take a stand. From this point on, truth reigns. The great battle has begun. Okay, so this really almost poetic message came through, and it's really painting this picture of this time as this kind of calling together of the forces. And um, I, I think most of us are aware that we are in the midst of a spiritual battle and it's being made very clear that this is a time where, you know, we're really about to go into the thick of it. So I don't want this to be frightening to anyone because this is really what we're here for is awakening beings as light workers we're really here to bring the light into the darkness and so uh, uh it, it this just feels like this call to action right now that's happening um okay and so uh, what is this great battle that it's talking about and why this distinctly shamanic flavor of the message and why this painting with the bull, the skull, the sun, and the esoteric symbol showing up here um, on this date, okay? Um, so these messages here, the, the, the painting, the visual message, and the verbal message, actually led me into hours of research to understand the significance of 12-12-2023 and to really get a grip on why this date is such a powerful one. So I'm going to be sharing um, a lot of what I discovered and I'll, I'll share a little bit about this painting as well as after we look at the numerology and the astrology of the 12-12. Okay, so 
let's look at the numerology next, okay? Um, 12 is a super powerful, very sacred number. It's, it's held sacred in a number of wisdom traditions. Um, and 12 represents time space, okay? Or the material world or creation. It's the splitting of the Godhead into 12 distinct vibrations or tones. So it symbolizes the highest order of creation or the cosmic order of creation, okay? And um, it, 12, if you look at the one, two, combines the energies of the divine masculine, which is the one with the energies of the sacred feminine, which is two, okay? And it reduces, if you add one and two, it reduces to three, which stands for the material world, right? This 3D world that we're in. But it's also the number of the, the divine child or the Christ, okay? So this is super, super powerful numerology here. It represents creation in its exalted or perfected state of wholeness or evolutionary health. Okay, so we're going to be looking a lot at Christ consciousness here in this video. And the 12, this Christ consciousness is reflected in the material world by the 12 signs of the zodiac, which map out the heavens as well as direct the cycles of time. So literally time and space we're looking at being reflected here in the number 12. Um, 12 has been incorporated into our timekeeping conventions, the 12 months in a year, the complete day divided into two cycles of 12, uh, 12 hours of night and 12 hours of day at the equinoxes. And it's also the number of Jesus' disciples, okay? Now, there's a big controversy with number 12 and time, okay, which I'll touch on later. And um, it's, the, it's the last in the cycle of the zodiac and the last in the cycle of the clock time. It's the last number before 13, which is the death card in tarot, okay? So 12 represents completion and just this final stage of completion before an ending. And it's an ending, and it's the moment before resurrection, okay? So, so this is a lot about new beginnings right here, this 12-12, okay? Um, so... 12, having all that symbolism in it, why 12, 12? What happens when we, when we add that extra 12 in there, okay? Um, first of all, 12 times 12 is 144, okay? And if you've been in following like the New Age movement for any period of time, you'll recognize 144 as being like a super magical uh, a number. It represents like these, you know, the awakening, the enlightenment. 144, um, it is 12 squared and it's reflected in the energy of the chakra system, okay? If you're familiar with the, the symbols of the chakras, they each have like petals. They're like little lotuses that, that have petals. And if you add the number of the petals of the five lower psychic centers from the throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, and root, you add all those petal numbers together, it, it adds up to 48, right? Which is four times 12. And then the third eye is assigned 96 petals, okay? So if you add those together, so all the um, chakra petals from the third eye on down, we get 144, okay? The crown is assigned a thousand uh, petals, okay? Um, but the crown's a little different. The crown's like a gateway, right? And the other chakras are like the the energy of the being itself, okay? So when we are looking at all these 144, that's a symbol of the perfect and expressed spiritual work, right? The marriage between the soul and the personality. And then when we multiply it by the thousand petals up here, we get 144,000, which you probably recognize as like this, the twin flame um, mythos it has a lot to do with 144,000. Um, and this is symbolizing um, those who are awakened and going to be assisting in, in the um, evolution of the earth, okay? So looking at this portal here, the 12, 12, 23, it feels like, numerologically speaking, it's an opening or an activation of this Christ consciousness, right? Or um, it, it's a gateway through which we can receive 
um, energies that help to awaken the Christ consciousness within us. Um, and let's looking at the astrology, it's really interesting because we see a lot of those same themes, okay, um, of Christ consciousness and also new beginnings, right? On the 12, 1223 falls on the same day as the new moon, and this is a new moon in the sign of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius has a lot to do with new beginnings, especially in Sagittarian themes like truth, higher knowledge, and change or movement, okay? So this is telling us that is this like enabling a movement into more opened uh, uh, heart and more opened awareness of the Christ consciousness and, and moving into that stream of consciousness that we can open ourselves as gateways for that stream to move through. So, in addition to conventional astrology, I want to spend some time looking at the date 12, 12, 23 as it's portrayed by the galactic calendar. If you're not familiar with this, I've done a couple videos on the galactic calendar, so I will link them here. But um, the galactic calendar is based on the ancient Mayan, Mayan calendar, and the idea behind it is that it works with... Um, more natural ways of of using time okay and, and more natural numerological cycles okay so it's it's interesting with the 12 um that even though it's a sacred holy number it's also associated with kind of false timelines okay um so with the galactic calendar instead of the 12 months of the gregorian calendar we work with 13 moons, months or moons in a year, and rather than weeks, we work with wave spells of 13 days each. So we're working with the number 13 rather than 12, which is a more natural um, earth number, right, to work with. And then each day is associated with one of 260 glyphs or archetypal energies, 12, 12, 23, actually begins a new wave spell or, or cycle. And so again, we're looking at new beginnings, but this day is symbolized by a glyph known as Red Magnetic Skywalker, okay? And according to the calendar, this day is guided by space or ether, okay? Which indicates a process of spiritualization. That's what this painting is all about too, okay? This little sign here is an umalom, and it, it, it's a symbol for awakening or the spiritualization of the um, of, of the individual. Okay, um, so the tone of the day twelve twelve is tone one again new beginnings. Okay, so this is called the magnetic tone, which corresponds to unity oneness, otherwise known as Christ consciousness as well. Okay, so I want to share a quote from astrodreamadvisor.com. They're a site that has a lot of information on the galactic calendar about Red Skywalker, because that's this a, a, a very important archetype that is we're going to be working with for a while here, okay? Um, so Red Skywalker is your conscious self, who you are and what you are becoming, an encounter with the energy of Red Skywalker can spark a deep yearning within you for reunion with the Source. Yet from this place of love and compassion, you also have a desire embodied in physical form to serve the light. This is the place in you that has the courage to fully express unconditional love, the depths of your being. Okay? Red Skywalker asks you to live the new myth by bringing this heaven to earth in your daily life. As this reality is lived, it touches and awakens the same truth in others. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay? So basically, this is talking about Christ consciousness, right? And what is Christ consciousness? In my understanding, Christ consciousness is like the life wave of the planet, the evolutionary impulse of the planet, right? It's a creative impulse. It's basically aligning oneself or it's an impulse that's aligned with divine will and the divine will to create, to create uh, harmony and beauty and love on earth here. Essentially, Christ consciousness is love in action. It's love as a di dynamic creative force. And it's through Christ consciousness that we create heaven on earth, okay? 
and it's a choice it does require sacrifice right so um it's it it, it to really align with christ consciousness one has to really uh devote oneself to it and purify oneself basically by uh, um just releasing or letting go forgiving right anything that is not truly aligned that is not really truth okay so it's love it's truth it's devotion and it's it's pure um love and action basically okay so but there's more here with the galactic calendar and this date of 12 12 23 okay so in addition to being the first day of a new wave spell 12 12 23 also initiates a 52 day cycle in the galactic calendar that's called a castle Okay, so there are five castles in the year, and they each contain four wave spells. The energy of this day, of this 12 to 23, is going to be very prevalent. It's going to influence everything that we do all the way until the start of February. Okay, so it culminates right around the time of Imbolc, which in itself is a really powerful time. It's one of the cross-quarter dates of the ancients and also a powerful time of new beginnings. So what I'm seeing and what I think this painting is really speaking to, and I'll be doing uh, more videos about this. I haven't quite finished it yet. Um, and, and I'll get more insights for us around this time that we're really entering. But I'm feeling like the 12, 12, 23 is an, a, an, opening, a, a, an opening window into this super powerful window of time that's... that's um, really building up into that imbolc or the spring equinox here in the northern hemisphere that's that's going to really push forward a a big wave of um, love in action right it's it's going to enable uh, christ consciousness to really come down into the earth and and start working in a big way all right um so but realizing though the, the law of polarity, what happens when you bring a powerful energy in, you're also going to be activating the opposite. There's gonna be some resistance to that, okay? So that's why we're seeing this spiritual battle symbology showing up so so um, powerfully right now is that in, in opening and amplifying Christ consciousness on the earth, it's also going to, you know, it's gonna have an opposite effect as well, all right? So the, the castle that begins on this day, on the 12-12, is called the White Northern Castle of Crossing, and it's considered a spiritual initiation point that activates the inner warrior, okay? And this too is associated with crossing into a new world and necessitating the death and release of the old, okay? The Antichrist force is afraid of death, okay? And, and so... Part of stepping into Christ consciousness is overcoming the fear of death, the fear of loss, right? Because you want to be so, so identified with the force of light, the force of the sun is another thing that Christ consciousness symbolizes. It really is being the sun embodied and bringing that sun that solar light into one's being, right? And in, in doing so, one loses the fear of death because one embodies the, the eternal light, okay? And so when you really are working with Christ consciousness, it, it's a fearlessness, and that is like the inner warrior, right? Um, but it's a light warrior. It's driven by love rather than fear. All right, so let me, I'm going to share a quote from Space Station Plaza. Oh, this is a website dedicated to educating about the Greek dream spell calendar and related topics. They say a warrior, in essence, is one who takes hold of their intelligence and directs their focus and will toward the goal of their innermost heart's desire. This awakening of intelligence by refinement and depth is to be celebrated and utilized as a tool of transformation by engaging that which is most purposeful and profound to your life and others' lives while confidently leaving behind that which is meaningless and unimportant in the grander vision of your life's unfolding, right? So this is really calling on a lot of courage, but it's a realization that, um, you know, that 
there is no transformation without some kind of depth. You've got to release and let go the old structures and move into the new, all right? So um, that's part a big part of what this day is all about, okay? And um, remembering that the number 12 isn't a holy number, but if it's the negative side of 12 is that it can hold you into old crystallized patterns that don't serve you anymore. So the idea is that we can move through the 12 and but also transcend it, right, by releasing and moving on into a higher vibration, okay? So to sum this up, the 12-12-23 is a super potent portal for new beginnings and also we're going to get a lot of activations to assist in amplifying the Christ consciousness and bringing Christ consciousness down into the earth right now. And this is why I am super excited to invite you to a free event that I'll be hosting on the 12-12. I've invited a very, very special guest. His name is Daniel John Hanneman, uh, who actually uh, taught me the energy scan process that I often use in, in um in private sessions as a, a healing technique, but he's going to come in and he has a really beautiful relationship with the Ascended Master, Yeshua or Jesus. And so I've invited him in to do some channeling. He'll be doing some energy scanning and it's really a lot of fun to work with him. Um, so I'm going to put the link to sign up to that below in the description box. It's a free event and, and I'll be releasing an interview with Daniel in just a few days so you can really get a feel for his energy and, and um, how fun that is to work with him. So subscribe, hit that bell for notifications if you haven't yet. I can't wait to see you on the 1212. And remember, life is art. Be fearless and remember you were born to be free.